five plus a bonus top summer sexy fragrances that you can wear that will go amazing with any date. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I am Sheree. Welcome, and if you are returning back, thank you so much, and welcome back. You are truly appreciated. Today I'm sharing with you five. I don't know what's up with me and five lately, you guys, but five, hello. I'm sharing with you five date night fragrances that are perfect for summer. So if you wanna see what my five are, keep watching. I'm gonna be honest, I do have a bonus. I may or may not say it, but I do have one. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle, so if you like any of those things, or maybe you like all of those things, I love for you to hit the subscribe button, join the team. If you wanna ensure you never miss a video, then go ahead and smash that bell. It'll notify you every single time a video is placed on this channel. Without further ado, let's get started. It's back, you guys. I don't know for how long, but it's back. All right, jumping in, and I'm going in no particular order. Some of these are new. <clears throat> Excuse her, can she speak? Some of these are new. So last week, if you watch, I told you I was going on a date, and I was going to wear the scent that you guys recommended, and that was Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. And I have got to say, I wore it, I wore it, I wore it. We went out to dinner, we went to Tao. Um, Tao's like a Chinese, Japanese restaurant here in LA. They're in Las Vegas, I believe there's one in New York, I don't know, but if you want a good place to go for a date night, it's got a nice little lounge, great food. Um, it's a popular spot, lots of paparazzi over there. So I did wear this and it was really, really good. Uh, this just comes off like this, you guys. It's a little valve. And I'm gonna tell you about some great ways to get some samples, but this one looks like this and it comes off. It's easy to put in my purse and everything like that. Going with Carolina Herrera. Carolina, Carolina. It was good. Okay, here's the thing. What does your date night fragrance say about you? What do you want your date night fragrance to say? This said, um, I was here, I was out there, I was gonna be seen, I was definitely gonna be smelled. It is loud, it is, um, it has, I'm gonna give you some notes today, just a little bit, I'm not going in all heavy because we'll be here all day, you guys know I like to talk a lot. Um, it has some white floral, it is sweet, it is warm, I definitely sell spice. A lot of these fragrances today all have white floral and most of them have uh, tuberose. Um, it has tuberose, tonka bean, it has a little bit of cocoa. It could have went a little deeper for me and been a little bit more gourmand, but it didn't, it went a little bit gourmand and then it just stopped. So it left me wanting more. It was definitely there. Um, the longevity of it was about maybe five, six hours. Um, I was still at the lounge after midnight and I was still able to smell it but very faintly. But it was really good. I wouldn't buy the full bottle. And that's why I love Scentbox. Um, you guys, shout out to Scentbox anyways for sponsoring today's video. Thank you for that. Um, you guys, Scentbox, in case you don't know, is a monthly subscription service. Um, it's not to be confused with a lot of the other ones that they have out there. The thing that stands out most to me about this one is that if you do get a fragrance and you don't like it, like I like this, but I don't love it, I would never, ever, ever buy the full bottle of it. It's just, it doesn't do enough for me. It doesn't have enough sexy, enough uniqueness. Is that a word, uniqueness, or am I making that up? It just doesn't have enough of that for me. So, so I would never want to get the full bottle of this and I can send this back free of charge and exchange it and let them know, hey, I really didn't like it, can I exchange it for something else? So that's why this is a great way to go and the customer service is really good there too. I'm gonna leave information in the description box below um, so that you can check it out for yourself but I am not gonna probably keep this. I'll probably send this back because this wasn't my favorite. Going into another one, this one, oh my gosh. Now this date night is saying, I know where I'm going, I know who I am, I am showing up to show out, I'm definitely going to be remembered, I'm definitely going to get your attention, capture your attention, hold your attention, and that is none other than Good Girl Gone Bad, and that is by Killian, this is amazing. We spoke some months back when I first picked it up. This is what I was spraying all the time before summer really kicked off. I was going with this more in the spring. And this here is amazing. This is sexy and I will say the longevity on here is just unreal. It's beast mode. Try getting it out of your clothes, good luck with that. Try getting it out of your hair, good luck with that. You'll have to wash it, but it just smells, I mean, this is sexy. Like this girl right here, she's me. Like when I go out on the weekend, Friday night if I go out, 
it's like, okay, you know, we're here. Saturday night, she's showing out. She is showing out. She's definitely here for summer. She's definitely here. You're definitely gonna see her, notice her. She smells good. She's gonna walk past you. You're definitely gonna do a double, 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 maybe even a triple take because this fragrance is that real. If you are looking for something, like I said last video, you still have time to get your hand on some amazing, sexy summer fragrances and this would be the way to go. This is like go out with your girls, you and your girls are going out that night. Ladies night out, hello. This is another great one to take with you on vacation, especially if you're somewhere hot and tropical like Miami or, or if you're going out to like, I don't know, like Mexico. I just got back from Mexico, by the way. Um, mm, it depends on where in Mexico, so I'm not gonna say from Mexico for here, but I'm just saying somewhere hot, sexy, you know what I mean? Something where it's like, you're showing a lot of skin. I don't mean that much skin, okay? I'm just saying you're showing some skin. The shoulders might be out, I don't. She doesn't know, okay? You might have the decollete. You guys, I cannot take off everything. I'm just saying you are showing some skin. This is my beach attire for today. Um, yeah, but anyway, so yeah, Killian, good girl gone bad. Let me give you a few notes of that. Uh, there's a white floral here. It's a little fruity, a little bit of tube rolls. Top notes would be jasmine, may rolls. Middle notes would be, uh, like I said, tube rolls. And then your base notes would be amber and cedar. It is warm, it is hot, it is sexy, it is flirtatious, it is fruity. It is for the girl who is not shy and she is like, I am a good girl, but sometime I go back. Hello. You know, one of those. Okay, let's move on. Another one. What is an, oh my God, I have a new one. Oh my God, I have a, oh my God. Stay, keep, let's keep going. Keep going, Sheree. Um, where do we go? Okay, let's go here. This is Tom Ford Orchid Soleil. Now, honestly and truly, I truly don't reach for this a lot in the summer, but it is a amazing, sexy summer fragrance. And the reason why I wasn't reaching for it a lot in the summer, because I was placing it in the wrong place for my life. I was placing it for what I was saying, going to a place like Tao. This is not that. This is a little bit too warm, too intimate, too sexy, too dark, too heavy. This is for a guy that you've been dating for a while. You know what I mean? This is like almost husband material or husband material. You guys, this is my interpretation of it, okay? This is my own opinion. You do not have to take what I'm saying so serious. But to me, you're in a committed relationship. You're committed. You know what I mean? You're like, you're, 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 what is it called? What did they used to call it back in the day? You've been courting for a while. My grandmother always say that. You've been courting for a while. You know what I mean? This is somebody who you're like, oh my God, he's picking me up. You know what I mean? It's sexy, but oh my God, it's just, it's expensive. This is an expensive date. This is an expensive fragrance. This is somebody that you're almost like sure with. You're like, you're getting ready to make the commitment. You're getting ready to tie the knot. You've already tied the knot. You might be engaged. You know, he knows your middle name. You know, I wouldn't just waste this on anybody. I'm just saying. This guy knows your middle name. You know, he may, you may even have his last name. I don't know. I'm just saying. This is what vibes this gives me. It's definitely warm. It's definitely, how do I say? It's just heavier than just a simple one night date. Like, oh, I'm meeting you for the first time. You're going to pick me up at five. Okay, I'll be there at seven. You know what I mean? It's not that. It's a little bit more than that. You can wear a Kaylee in there because you definitely want to get out the car or get out of whatever and they remember you. So definitely wear Kaylee in there. But this, I would say, let this be somebody committed. Uh, maybe you're a woman or a guy and you're married and you're looking for something to spice things up, be a little sexy, a little romantic. Little. This is more than a flirtatious. You know, this is like, I'm totally that woman and I'm showing you I'm her and then I'm going there you know what I mean like she's a woman you know what I mean it's like one of those okay notes in this one you guys is white flower tube rose there's some vanilla in here see I told you it's sensual it's sexy okay so you're putting this on and you're gonna send a message it's sensual I'm telling you right now you put this on you're sending a message it's sensual so it's sensual it's spicy there's some pink peppers in here it's a bitter orange it's got patchouli it's got orchid that's what I'm talking about think about those blends those combinations and how they get going and it's just sexy. This is good, good. This is like, oh, he might go. He might take you to a steakhouse. I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't know. Not like Coco Noir Steakhouse, but you might be go a Nobu. Okay, out by Ma that's what I'm saying. It's that kind of day. You're going out by the ocean. You're going to Malibu. Okay, if you don't know what that is, it's like the Pacific Coast Highway here in Los Angeles, Southern California, LA, and it is Nobu. It's the restaurant, and it's on the beach, and you're sexy, and you look amazing. You might even have on a black with a red lip with a smoky brown eye. I don't know, you guys, but that's what this fragrance is. Another one. This is new to me. 
okay this perfume house has been out you guys but this is new to me this is called carnal flower and oh my gosh by Frederick Mal. I hope I'm saying all this stuff right you guys forgive me if I'm not it's the additions of the deep perfumes and it is amazing okay I have fallen in love with um where am I going Barney's okay I was there the other weekend if you look at my Instagram stories you already know that's where the tea really gets spilt first over there and then I bring it over here in a cup and we sip it okay this here Oh my gosh, this is sexy. This is like very girly though. This is girl, this is an innocent date. This is, oh my God, we've been speaking for a couple of months. We're actually gonna go out. I might even go over and meet some of his family members or something like that, but we're gonna be together all day, so I still wanna be kinda sexy. Classy at the same time, it's very age friendly for to me any age. It's very um, light, inviting, but it's still sensual and sexy, but in an innocent, shy, but not shy kind of way. Can you follow that? If you can follow that, hit this video right now and give it a thumbs up. Like seriously, if you followed that, pause what you're doing, give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs up. Okay, wait, let me give you some notes in this one. Yes, I think I'm saying a carnal flower. This, again, has tubers, but this has the highest concentration form of tubers. I didn't even know about that. It is very natural, and that is what's in it. As I was spraying it, I sprayed it on, and I just could not, it's, a, it's what is it called? Addictive? Because I just kept going back and forth spraying it some fragrances do that to me where I just can't place them right away but the dry down is there I had it on for several hours I'm gonna say about four and I was still able to smell it it warmed up on the skin it transported me somewhere I just went to when my husband and I like maybe a second or third year into our marriage very you know light free but definitely flirty but definitely sweet but innocent but love I don't know if you could go there and follow that, but if you can, that's where it took me, okay? So it's spicy, it's creamy. See, I told you, it's comfort. It's like mashed potatoes and gravy. Ooh, to who eats mashed potatoes and gravy anymore? I don't, you guys, I can't afford the carbs. I can't. Even right now, I'm struggling. I can't afford the carbs. I would love to, but she can't afford the carbs. Anyways, um, it is creamy. It has white musk. It's sensuality vibe that it gives you. It's erotic. It's made with an erotic flower. It has some musk in it. It does give you a little bit of a fruity note. This is expensive. OMG. I looked at it. It comes as small as a 10 mal, but it's like a refill uh, bottle. Probably closer to like this size type uh, bottle. But it comes at, and then there was one. Wait, wait, did I write the price down? For a 100 mil, you guys, it was $390. I was like, oh, okay. This particular fragrance came out in 2005. Just a little fun facts, a couple of facts about it. Oh, God. Right when I initially spray it, especially in the paper, you guys, whenever you're sampling your fragrances, please spray them on your body. Please spray them on your body. If you want to know how they smell and how they're going to wear and pair on you, spray them on your body and do the wear test anywhere from... 40 to 60 minutes would give you a good indication on how it's going to dry down, wear, and be on you. Other than that, this isn't giving me the real vibe. It's close, but when I sprayed it on my actual body, it was a little bit different. And of course, even now, this is just the initial spray. When you first spray it, to me, it smells a little green, very fresh, very clean, but then I definitely know that it dries down to more of a sweeter, you know, more flower, um, tube rolls, uh, sweet, just innocent, milky, creamy, comfort, all of those wrapped up in one type of a bow. But it's good, good. So I am sampling this out. Shout out to the people at Barney's. They always give me so many amazing samples. You guys are always asking me how to get samples. You can ask your stores for samples. Go to Barney's, go to Nordstrom's, go to Sephora, go to um, different places and if you want to get tons of fragrances and tons of samples and try them and see if you like them try Scentbox that's what I'm telling you about today great place to go and get they carry niche fragrances they carry designer fragrances they carry Tom Ford they carry Dip D tons of fragrances so check them out okay another one let's move on okay this is the sixth one that I was gonna tell you guys about that's the bonus that I'm just like oh my gosh should I really tell them about oh no 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 I'm still within vibe oh my god I'm still within vibe this is Bobby Brown Beach. Bobby Brown makes makeup. Love Bobby Brown, the highlight, what is it called? Gold something? I don't know, but it's a great one if you've never tried it. Um, but this is Bobby Brown Beach. I was just walking through Ross and it was there and I had smelt it in the store, but it was so expensive. I didn't really want to commit to a complete big bottle again. And I think it was like, I don't know how much it was, but it was just more than I was willing to pay. But it was a great scent and I wanted it in my collection. I just, cause I have a place for it on Sundays. I always tell you guys I go to the beach. This is a fragrance that's 
typically to me, or not typically, totally to me should be worn by the beach. It just oods beach. This fragrance you can smell salty in. I've never been able to smell salty in a fragrance, but you can smell salty in this. I picked up some of the notes. This too, again, is a white floral. This is salty. This has jasmine in it. This is a very beachy vibe. Okay, so think about your hair. Loose, big wave curls. You know what I mean? Beachy curls, more of a boho style. Maybe you're wearing something light and airy. Maybe something like a flowy dress or maybe a kimono with something like shorts and a nice cute tank under it. A lace white tank would be cute. Nice open toes, a beautiful sandal, well pedicured toes, I might add. I'm just saying. This is amazing. I'm going to, I don't have any more places to put it. I'm wearing this for today anyway. This is a roller ball. Remember, I told you a couple of videos back about Oh my God, it's good. See, this makes me want to go by the beach. This makes me happy. This is upbeat, but this is very sexy. Get no mistakes. Take no mistakes from this. This is very sexy. This is something you would put on. He would pick you up at about 3, 4.30ish. You're going maybe, I don't know, to a nice barbecue. It's barbecue season. Maybe you're going to a barbecue. I have no idea. You put something on like this. It's been on you all day. This is small enough for you to take this and put this inside your handbag. You put this inside your handbag. He goes in to make a phone call. You find a reason to go into the bathroom and just, you know, you know, touch it up a little bit. Then the evening's getting night. You're moving in a little bit closer. I don't know, maybe this is the eighth date, you're moving in a little bit closer. And so then you go in and you have it right there. He kisses you, you sit back, he gets a whiff of your fragrance and it smells amazing. This is too another one that to me can be worn day and night, but just wearing it on its own, I would say maybe three, four and a half hour tops. So if you wanna wear this, make sure that you pair it and layer it and that way it'll last longer. This is Beach by Bobbi Brown. Another one from Scentbox and this is Noricio. This is another one that's really good. This is in the white bottle. Oh my God, now I'm telling you guys the sixth one. Forget it, I'm just gonna run through the notes really quick, you guys. It's new, this one came out in 2019 it's very powdery it is floral um it is a little woody it is must it is everything that it says it has a lot of flowers it smells very cashmere to me this reminds you if you want to know what this smells like this smells like a white cashmere sweater rich expensive creamy milky soft it smells like that and this is um Naricio rodriguez this came out 2019 and this is for her this is too, to me, more of a mature, more of a mature fragrance, but it's that. It's more of a mature, to me, you're more of an established couple, you've been together longer. Like again, these are my opinions, you guys, you wear whatever you want. But whenever I go out with my guy, and I just wanna be that girl, I don't wanna be his wife, you know, but I wanna be his wife, but I just wanna be sexy, more not mom, not wife, I wear Killian. Because that, to me, just screams like, hello, hello. Every fragrance is gonna give you something different. Every fragrance offers something different. I've shared with you six fragrances, perfect for any summer date night. I will say one of these are more heavier. Oh, Carolina Herrera. That's a little bit more heavier, but if you're going out late at night, like 10 or after 10, you could definitely pull it off. You're going out to a stuffy restaurant about 7.30, 8, 6.30, it might be a bit too heavy. So caution with that, caution, be cautious. Spray at your own risk. If you have a summer fragrance that you love wearing and it's very sexy, sexy, leave it in the comment section below. I still say I'm going to put my other video in here from last week because if you have not smelled Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, that is amazing summer sexy fragrance so it, that is my favorite hands down of all times that is my favorite Killian is coming in right at number two if you're loving these videos don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up until next time guys you know the drill be blessed stay fit and definitely stay fabulous thanks for watching guys bye